friends, my name is Devilish and here we are back with this lovely creature that's in the, the lovely water, as you can quite tell, and I need this torso. So if I push this over here, where, where is the... Oh, it's right over here, how wonderful. There's, there's dead flesh over there. Well, there was. Can you go over there, please? All right, bucket, 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 bucket. Oh, and the gate's closed again. How wonderful! I would really appreciate it if you'd just go over there. And then maybe over there. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We've got one torso left. Oh, it went over there? I don't like it. Right. That's going over there. No, 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 no! But you're supposed to be distracted! Oh. Have I got my Lord and back? Yes, I have. Right. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Go, 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 go! Shit, I should have shut that door. Ah. 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 Fuck. Okay, the needle? Okay. Oh, God, yes. Can I get out of here, please? <sighs> Something large brushed up against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself to the sore as we go. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, oh wow. Why am I still in the water? Oh. Oh, hold on. We're just gonna run, we're gonna run and hope for the best. 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 Fuck the doors, 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 fuck the doors. We're just gonna run and hope for the best. We're just gonna run and hope for the best. Just get out, just get out, just get out, just get out. Something's behind you and you do not care. You do not care, you do not care, you do not care. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The leckered hull of SS Hall, blah, blah, glittered in the soothing warmly. Uh, I can't even do it. Read that at your own leisure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, no water. We're good. We're good. We are good. Okay. This is nice. This is nice music. This is lovely look at this this is just gorgeous what okay we're back to the windiness that's lovely oh i can touch it okay right what does that mean okay this is nice this is nice music this is nice it's a definite improvement on um, the previous situation. It's pretty. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, what's this? That is a door. Where does this door lead? 
The music's quite nice and calming after that. Right, that's storage. We're just going to have a bit of an explore. I feel like there's just an orchestra in the background that's hoping for our sanity to be renewed because I definitely feel like I need a cup of tea. There's the study. And there's the guest room. Okay. So, it opened for that door in the windiness, so we'll go that way, I guess? Oh, see, this is pr pretty. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? What? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. Oh, wonderful. So, we have to go underground. You have ridden an elevator before? Yeah. Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, about that. I'm quite happy here. I'm really quite happy here. Oh, it's not working. Okay. That's fine. So that's the note. So what do I do? I'm gonna... What's this place? The machine room? So I imagine I've got to go in here first. Oh, it's locked. Okay, we need to find a key for that. So I imagine... What was back over here again? Because that's where we came back up. That's where we came up. That's fine. What was over here? The... The storage. Would it be in storage? I don't know. I, I would put a key in the study, personally. Should we go on the upper floors first, or... We'll go on the upper floors. I would put a key in the study. Guest room. And I'm trying to think of how the game is going to want me to think. He returned the tea cup to the saucer and picked up the orb as it would be as one would an apple and pondered the strange happenings. I would ponder them too. Okay, this seems... Ominous? Hello? Why is there a buzzing? Is there supposed to be a buzzing? Oh, a tinderbox. Always welcome. Is that supposed to be vibrating? Well, I can't pick it up. I think it might have been glitched. Okay. Lantern. Tinderbox. Okay. Anything in there that I can break? No, let's, uh, let's uh, get up here. No, no, no. Nothing? There's lots of all these figures. Oh, this one's nice. I'll take this one. Just in case I need to break something, you know. You can sit there, Sir Charles. Come with me, Sir Charles. Sit on this nice city, Sir Charles. Is it a sir? I don't know. I don't really know. Is there supposed to be a buzzing sound? I don't really know. I think there might be. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was travelling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is an inexplicable, as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was it, as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its colour washed while rich contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstadt, investigating one of the antique antiquity I don't know trails when I found the cavern 
I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel it was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods, and I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in a lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained conti as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Oh, God. Bloody hell. Well, you can read that in your own leisure. Is there supposed to be a buzzing? Maybe. But that's all that we've got time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent. If you have enjoyed this episode, then press like and comment and share this with your friends, as well as checking the links out in the description and in the annotations. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye! An iconic title on the Sega Mega Drive. It's easily one of my most favourite games. So we're just going to get started. Sega Mega Drive. So what with the new movie coming out of Jurassic World, I thought this would be a really great time to do the Jurassic Park game for the Sega Mega Drive and show you.